We're delving deep into Cybertronian lore again this week as we look at one of the oldest Autobots there is. The historian of Cybertron, guardian of Vector Sigma, mentor to Optimus Prime. These are the basics on Alpha Trion. Alpha Trion was an original character created for the Transformers animated series. He was introduced in the 1985 episode The Search for Alpha Trion as a wise and enigmatic old Autobot with a mysterious connection to Optimus Prime, and he went on to play a key role in some of the most significant episodes of the show over the next two seasons, which gradually revealed his backstory. Known in his youth as A3, Alpha Trion was one of the first generation of Cybertronians created 12 million years ago, who led the Autobots' rebellion against their evil alien oppressors, the Quintessons. Millions of years later, when the war with the Decepticons was just beginning, he rebuilt the injured young bots Orion Pax and Ariel into the first of a new generation of battle-ready Autobots, recreating them as Optimus Prime and Elita One. After Optimus left Cybertron, Trion served as advisor to Elita as she waged an underground guerrilla war against the Decepticons still on the planet. The three were eventually reunited in the present day, when Elita was captured by the Decepticons and Optimus returned to rescue her, then brought her to Alpha Trion for repairs. Alpha Trion was the custodian of the activation key to the megacomputer, Vector Sigma. But after the Decepticons stole the key from him, he gave up his life to grant the Autobots access to Vector Sigma's power, fusing with the computer and using his life force to bring it online. But though Alpha Trion was now gone, future episodes would see Optimus Prime use the mystic Matrix of Leadership to commune with his spirit in times of need. Trion's spirit would also appear in the Japanese exclusive sequel series, Transformers The Headmasters, guiding Optimus Prime on a journey through Cybertron's depths and helping to re-energize the Matrix after its energies were depleted. As he was created for the cartoon, Alpha Trion wasn't represented in the Transformers toy line. In fact, he never even transformed once in the whole show. Still, he was easily the most notable character invented for the series, and in the 21st century, new incarnations of Alpha Trion have featured in every major iteration of the Transformers brand, virtually identical in appearance, personality and role across multiple different continuities. Following a brief name drop in 2001's Robots in Disguise, Ultra Magnus really is my brother. We were created at precisely the same time on Cybertron, by an Autobot elder named Alpha Trion. Most of Alpha Trion's appearances in the 2000s were in comic books. Stories from Dreamwave Productions deepened the extent of his connection to Vector Sigma, establishing that he was the keeper of the vast database of Cybertronian history the computer contained, while the Transformers universe and Cybertron comics linked him to the Transformers god Primus, whose will he served by gathering and advising Transformers from across the multiverse to combat the forces of Primus's evil brother Unicron. He would return to TV screens at the end of the decade, in Transformers Animated, in which he was a member of the Autobot High Council and butted heads with the Autobot's arrogant leader, Sentinel Prime. The first merchandise of Alpha Trion was a non-transforming PVC figurine released as part of the Super Collection figure line exclusively in Japan in 2002. A recolor of the Beast Machines figure Snarl, who transformed into a lion, was mocked up as a proposed exclusive for official convention BotCon around this time, to tie in with the character's appearance in the Universe comic, but it never went into production. Eventually though, the first true transforming Alpha Trion toy was released exclusively at BotCon 2007, a retool and recolor of the Transformer Cybertron Vector Prime toy, which transformed into a Cybertronic spacecraft. 
Though the toy looked like any regular Alpha Trion, the following year the Transformers Collectors Club comic revealed that this was actually an evil version of Trion from the mirror universe of Shattered Glass, who had been exiled from his home dimension by his Optimus Prime and schemed to return home and take revenge. Alpha Trion's place in Transformers lore underwent significant reinvention in the 2010s with the introduction of the Aligned Continuity, a multimedia project that combined ideas from the original cartoon and the comic books of the 2000s to establish a definitive modern vision for the character. In this universe, as introduced in the 2010 novel Transformers Exodus, Alpha Trion was one of the legendary 13 Primes, the first Cybertronians created by Primus in the primordial past. The third of the group created, Trion was the keeper of both the Covenant of Primus, a mystic record of Cybertronian history, both past and future, and the Quill, with which he added to the book over the ages. While most of his siblings would eventually leave Cybertron, Alpha Trion remained on the planet to watch over the Cybertronian race, eventually becoming the Master Archivist at the Iacon Hall of Records, where he served as mentor to Orion Pax and ensured he would rise to become Optimus Prime. This version of Trion also appeared in the Transformers Prime animated series, in which he sent the many powerful relics stored in the Hall of Records to Earth so that Optimus could use them to save the planet from the Decepticons. And he was the narrator of the 2013 guidebook The Covenant of Primus, which detailed the history of the aligned continuity from his perspective. The Aligned Continuity's depiction of Alpha Trion as a Prime and a Historian would go on to influence other series, most notably IDW Publishing's comic books. A slightly more eccentric and self-aggrandizing version of the character, IDW's Alpha Trion was introduced in 2010, working in partnership with the giant Autobot Metroplex to heal Cybertron of the damage done by the war. In later years, he would reunite with the Autobots on Earth, where his true nature as a Prime and a founder of Cybertronian society came to light, as threats from those ancient days returned to menace the Transformers of today. In 2016, a new toy of Alpha Trion was released in the Titan's Return toy line, which in a reference to Botcon's contributions to the character's history, triple changed into both a spacecraft and a lion. The toy's head disconnected and transformed into the tiny Titan Master, Sovereign. This feature was incorporated into IDW's comics in a special crossover event, which saw Alpha Trion's body be taken over by Sovereign, who was a servant of another of the Thirteen, the evil Onyx Prime, and was out to pave the way for his master's return. Though Alpha Trion survived this experience, he would ultimately be killed by Onyx to keep the old bot from revealing his secrets. Alpha Trion's made a variety of other appearances in Transformers toy lines during the 2010s, including both transforming and non-transforming figures, and he's also continued to show up in a respectable amount of media, notably making an appearance in the Transformers Cyberverse cartoon in 2018 as a member of the Autobot High Council, fatally wounded by Megatron early in the war, who passed the Matrix of Leadership to Optimus Prime before dying, which was followed by the release of a figure of him in the Cyberverse toy line in 2019. In 2020, he featured in Netflix's War for Cybertron animated series as the deceased mentor of Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus, who left behind a valuable collection of wisdom known as the Alpha Trion Protocols when he died. And most recently, he's appeared in IDW's new rebooted comic book universe, Searching the Stars for Lost Cybertronian Artifacts. And that's the tale of Alpha Trion, a key figure in the saga of the Transformers and their ever-expanding lore, from the Covenant to the basics, from one Transformers historian to another. And those are the basics on Alpha Trion. If you've enjoyed this look at Transformers lore, leave a comment below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Ring the bell to be notified about future episodes or get early access when you support the show on Patreon.